Hello, today I will be showing you the basics to passy decoration. When I first started out, I was having a hard time finding out where to buy things and what the best materials are. So this is a good video for beginners. The basic materials that you will need are blank pacifiers. I got mine from the Dollar Tree. Cabochons. Or you can use stickers and cardboard. I will show that later. You will need tweezers and some kind of glue. Nail glue is not the best, but it is okay for beginners. Optional are pearls and rhinestones and letter beads. I did not have any loose ones on me, but these ones are on a pacifier. Let's start with glue. I got my glue from Dollar General. Uh, it was $3, I believe, for this big bottle and $1 for the smaller bottle. I highly recommend using these smaller bottles because they have small precision tips. It is much easier to get the glue where you want it to go with the smaller bottles. Next up, pearls and cabochons. If you are able to, you can buy cabochons in big lots for pretty cheap on AliExpress and Wish. If you are unable to purchase from AliExpress or Wish or any of those cheap sites, you can always make your own with stickers. I got these from the Dollar Tree. All you're going to do is take off your sticker, and I am going to use a paper for this example, and you're just going to stick it to your piece of cardboard. Then you are going to cut it out carefully along the edges of the sticker. If you want, you can always go a little bit farther in if you think your sticker's edges are too far out. I am using small scissors. It makes it a little bit easier to cut, especially if you have a sticker that is intricate and small, like this rock. Another fun way to create cabochons is with shrinky dinks or shrink plastic. They are the same thing. You can get shrinky dinks for pretty cheap, about $15 on Target for a big pack of them. That's what I paid. Now it is finally time to glue your cabochons to your pacifier. You want to be sure to cover the entire back area of the sticker with glue so that there's no cardboard or paper or foam or whatever you use in the back sticking out because if you use cardboard that could become gross and icky if it's close to your mouth all of the time. And now I'm finally going to show you some tricks for adding pearls and rhinestones onto your pacifiers. Most of my rhinestones and pearls I got from the Dollar Tree. They just came in these sticky sheets and I peeled them off. And these rhinestones came out of this pen that was originally for nail art. It was also from the Dollar Tree. And now we need to add the rhinestones onto the pacifier. I'm not going to really glue this one down, but I'm going to show you an example. So you put your glue on and you want to be quick with this because it is super glue. You use your tweezers to pick up your rhinestone and carefully place it on the glue and wait. Do not ever touch the wet glue. I hope this was helpful in helping beginners start their passy creation journey. It is very fun to make pacifiers while in little space. Uh, this is the very bare minimum, so there is plenty of room to add your own twists and spins on your passies.